Back to the charts with Big Boss Crypto, bring our day trading analysis on Bitcoin and on Chainlink. Today we're going to take a look at what's been going on with Bitcoin and crypto in general. It's been boring, it's been sideways around the 23k area. That means the market maker is accumulating. What is he accumulating? Well, let's look at the charts. If you watched my last day trading update i told you that we need to break this point right here at 22 in order for us to break down and recover some of the volume cans which are down below there are a lot of them actually a lot of buy orders that didn't get filled and for in order for someone to buy someone has to sell and in order for someone to sell someone has to buy so the market maker will possibly move price here and recover some of those buy orders and fill them up. And so he's ready for the next moves to the upside when we have our next bull run. I don't foresee that in the near future at least. So we can see that we didn't break this point right here, this horizontal line. We were close one time and two times and possibly even three times but we didn't break it that means that the market maker is accumulating something and i do think it is possibly short because next week will be intense we have the fmc meeting on wednesday and i don't think we will jump much higher i do think we will move up to 24 600 zone possibly during the fmc meeting and we'll get a candle something like this and then we will start chopping our way down, recover some of the volume cans below. Because news hasn't been really good for inflation in my opinion, we can take a look at the news event soon. However, the next targets to the downside are at 21.6k, 21k. If we break that, you could target some of the lower zones right here at 19.5k, 19k and 18.5k. And that is possible where we might have a bottom out structure have a recovery and another relief rally up to 20k and then move to the next targets to the downside because to the upside on the one hour time in time frame there aren't that many we can see that we have one here let's mark it off in the chart this will get recovered at some point possibly ahead of the fmc meeting and if we take a look at the news events we can see that we have important news as i cannot explain how important it is because it will determine what the fmc might say next week and it's the core pc price index that dictates yeah the price of goods and services purchased by consumers excluding food and energy and if we get anything above 0.3 percent and you are in shorts good idea because if we get 0.4 or 0.5%, that's generally bad and that will impact the FMC decision next week. Also, if we take a look at the liquidation map, we can see if you like blur out or semi close your eyes, you can see where most of the liquidation points are. And you can clearly see if we move to the downside. There's a lot more money to be made for the market maker than it is to the upside. We can see the volume candle points here at 21k. We can see them at 20k. We can see them at 19k. And we can see them at 85 k and 18k. So that is where the money is. There's a lot of orders in those points as well. And to the upside we don't see much until we get to the 26k point or the 28k point. So probability is that we will get a move to the downside next week that's most likely if we take a look at the information we have right here however it's not financial advice it's just for educational and ent entertaining purposes only probability is that we will move to the downside however the market maker can do whatever he wants and this is the information we have and we have to play our cards according to that Chainlink, we can see that it has been pretty choppy as well as you can see here haven't really moved anywhere 
except solid weights. So something is brewing in the crypto market in general and in the stock market as well. We'll see what happens next week during the FOMC meeting. But I think we could recover some of the volume candles above. We have one here at 7.455. If we break that and move even higher, we could move to this point right here at $8.2 for Chainlink. And that will be a great shorting opportunity because we do have some volume candles residing to the downside. And I think Bitcoin will dump because the, yeah, the pump in recent weeks have been pretty quick. And I don't think that is sustainable. We need a retrace in order for us to continue upwards. Otherwise, it's just a big hoax pump. We'll see what happens next week. But basically, these are the targets. We have one at 7.445. Break that. And we could get ourselves up to $8.2. Targets to the downside, however, are first at $6.4 could move down to 6.2 and we could close out next week at 5.856 if we get a pretty volatile week after the FOMC meeting. Let's see what happens. These are the targets for Chainlink. I do think shorting is a pretty good idea at this moment because we need a retrace in my opinion. That's it for today's day trading update. Please like and subscribe and we will see how Monday again with a new day trading update. Have yourselves a good weekend. Big boss out.